Hi Jane. I received the birthday card you sent. It's lovely. Thank you so much. I am glad you like it. You send birthday cards to almost all the friends in our class. How do you remember the birthdays? I have saved them in a database. A database? What is it? A database is a collection of data. The class register is an example of a manual database. So have you written them manually in a diary or something? No, I created a database electronically using Microsoft Access application. Microsoft Access is an application software. It helps you to store and analyze information. MS Access works more efficiently than Microsoft Excel because, it analyzes large amounts of information, and manage data more efficiently. Microsoft Access stores information in the form of a table. Let's see how to create a table in Microsoft Access. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a table in Microsoft Access. First of all, open up the Microsoft Access application. For that, Click on Start button and see whether you can see the software on the main menu. As you can see, you can see it here. If you cannot find it on the main menu, you will have to do a quick search on the search bar. Type Access and see whether it is whether you have installed the software in your computer. So you can see it shows up here Access 2016. Then double click on it. You will get a screen like this. On that, click on blank desktop database icon. Then you will have to rename your database, give a different file name to your database. So I will save this database as 6th May. And then click on create button. You can give any name you like. So let's see how to create a table. I will create a table to store information about your friends in your class. So as you give the, give the file name, the database name, a default table like this, table 1, will be created. First of all, let's change the name of this table. For that, right click and click save type the name you want and click ok so then the default table table 1 was changed to friend so this is the friend table now the next step is to add the fields the field names so basically a table will have the headings so fields are the headings of a table. In order to add the fields or the headings of a table, you will have to go to the design view of the views icon. As you can see, the views icon, the view icon, click on design view. So using the design view, you can define the field names for a particular table. So let's click on design view and then by default a field name called ID will be created. You can give a you can change this to let's say friend ID and as you can see this friend ID has a sign of a key 
next to it. So this is, this we call the primary key of this table called friends. So primary key is a unique key to identify a particular table. For example, let's say you have two friends with the same name. So in order to identify which friend it is, you can give a different assign a different number to the person. Let's say your friend Anne Marie, you have two friends called Anne Marie. So the two friends will be given two different numbers to identify each of them uniquely differently. So primary key is the field name which identifies a particular table uniquely. Now let's go ahead adding the rest of the fields to this table. So your friends will have their names. Also you can give the date time. That means uh, what kind of data that you will be storing here. So name will be, name is not a number, right? Name is a short text, meaning you will have letters typing for a name. You will not uh, type numbers or a date or time or a currency. So it is the type of uh, data or information you type for that particular field name. So name will let's have short text or either long text. Some of you may have long names. So you can type lots of characters, lots of letters in that column, long text. Then you want to send birthday cards for each of your friends. So you will have to know the addresses also. Address will have again, yes. Let's say long text for that as well. And then the addresses and the date of birth. that will be date or time because you will be storing information you will be storing dates they are date of birth in this column so let's have only four fields for this table friend ID name address and the date of birth so let me just explain what this data type auto number is all about. This is a automatically generated number meaning you don't have to type any records, any information for this particular field, this particular column. Microsoft Access will automatically generate a number for this field. So that's an auto number. Whereas for name, for the field's name, address and date of birth, you will have to type data manually. I hope you understood it. So, we have created the friends table. We have entered all the field names and the relevant data types. Now, let's go ahead and include type some records. For that, Go to view icon again and click on data sheet view. So it asks you to first save the table. You can do you want to save the table now and click yes. Right, so as you can see, it will the table that you created will show up like this. Okay, so you have the friend ID name, address, date of birth. So now let's go ahead and include some records or include some information in this to this friends table. So records are the information you type in a table. Let's say let's add the information of a friend and Fernando to so see uh, ID was automatically generated a number was automatically came up here 
and then type address 23 Church Road Nikambo. The date of birth will be as you can see for the date of birth field name the data type that we assigned was the date or time. So you can see a small box popping up over here to enter the date of birth of that person. So let's uh, just give a any date we know right so see it's a date so let's add another record to this table Amy De Silva the address is 12 upon a temple street and date of birth you can pick a date you like so likewise you can add records to a table let's say you have another friend called Amy Bizilva in the same name you see this time you can see number 2 Amy Bizilva is a different person and number 3 the third record Amy is your other friend. So every person will have a unique number, a unique friend ID to identify that particular person. That is the primary key. A key which is used to uniquely identify a table. So then you can add some information for that as well. Temple Road Gumbo and then So now we have created a table with four fields and three records. So these are the fields of a table meaning the headings and the information you store in a table are the records in a table as you can see. So this is how you create a table in Microsoft Access. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Intelligence is a gift. Use it for the good of mankind.